Hello Wanderers and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. In this episode, we're getting ready to face off against the Powder Gang. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Would Chet be willing to give us his supplies? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. How can I get Easy Pete's dynamite? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Until Bye. next time. Alright, let's see if we can convince Trudy to join us. Hello. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. You should help me take down the powder gangers. Bullets, explosions, lots of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Thanks, Trudy. Be careful out there. Howdy. I hear you've got dynamite. It would help us beat the powder gangers. You do dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. I'm familiar with the care and handling of explosives. Dynamite included. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. Bye, Pete. Yep. All right, time to head to the general store. You looking to buy some supplies? I need supplies to fight the powder gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Let them take over the town then. I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. What do you know about the situation with the powder gangers? If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. All right, thanks, Chet. Take it easy now. Now the last person we need to talk to is Doc Mitchell. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? The town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Tell me about yourself, Doc. Well, I already told you I came from a vault. After that, I was a traveling doctor for a spell. 
seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out here ain't educated, so people with medical know-how are hard to come by. I found that I could help a lot of people with what I knew, and that was all right with me. Eventually, I went back and married my childhood sweetheart, and that was the end of my traveling days. Didn't miss it none then. Still don't. You said before you had something taken from you. Well, ain't we all, right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. What town is this again? Uh, this here's Good Springs, named after the water we got here, just down the road to the southeast. Good Springs Source, they call it. It's a quiet town, and that's how we like it. We don't go looking for trouble, though occasionally it sees fit to come looking for us. What else can you tell me about Good Springs? Well, there's a general store just up the road, run by a fella named Chet. He don't got nothing fancy, but he's got your basics covered. If you're looking to wet your whistle, just past Chet's is the Prospector Saloon. The bartender there, Trudy, knows everyone in town. Other than that, there's not much to see. Just people trying to scratch out a living. Who was it that rescued me? That'd be Victor. Curious fella. He's sort of odd, and I don't just mean because he's a robot. I couldn't tell you much about him. He's real friendly, don't get me wrong. You just get the sense that that ain't the whole picture. Just a feeling. He keeps to himself, mostly. You want to know more about him, you'll have to ask him yourself. He has a shack on the southern edge of town. Do you know anything about the man who shot me? I didn't see him or the men with him. You might ask around town, though. Could be someone saw which way they was headed. Your best bet would probably be Trudy, the bartender at the saloon up the road. If anyone saw anything, she'd know about it. Thanks, Doc. You take care now. All right, let's get geared up and ready for the fight. After we're done here, we'll explore a little more of Good Springs and then we'll be headed to Prim. So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? Sunny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Let's go. Oh, Easy Pete came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Okay, with everybody on our side, I think we should be all right. And there's Joe Cobb.
We can talk after this is over. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. You're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. I'm definitely going to have to sell some of this loot back to Chet. But first, let's sell off some of the spoils of the battle. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. Can do. That ought to keep things settled for a while. Hope it stays that way. And of course, I think we have to wear our desperado cowboy hat. Tomorrow morning, before heading out of town, we'll quickly explore some of the other Good Springs homes. Some of the empty ones make a pretty good starter home as well, and a good place to stash and crash. Howdy, partner! Do you know who those men were who attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. How did you end up in Good Springs? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I, um, 
I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. Happy trails! The music in this game is always excellent. I find it funny that Victor basically lives like a human. It's a very western style house that he's got. Howdy, Victor. All right, let's check out some of these neighboring houses. Thank you. Oh, and this is actually the settler that we saved from the geckos back at the Good Springs water source. That's pretty cool. Let's see who lives here. All right, this also seems like a great place to call home. This was one of the games that started my obsession with collecting things, and I'm always perpetually over-encumbered because of it. Alright, I think there's one more space to look at, and then we'll start on the road to Prim. Howdy. We need more people like you around. Oh, thank you, friend. Now, this house only looks abandoned, but isn't. Howdy. Wait, if you're looking for supplies, Chad over at the general store can help you out. I'm always afraid to look in the bathtubs in this game.
Look at that moleskin rug. They definitely should have included some of these assets in Fallout 4 for the settlement system. Alright, I think we're ready to head out of town. I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. See you later, Trudy. Be careful out there. Thanks again for all your help. Yeah. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Nope, we're headed up to Prim. Until next time. I'm looking forward to making it to the Vegas Strip, and I know it's a bit of a trek, so we're gonna get this information and get out of town as soon as possible once we reach Prim. And like I mentioned before, the first time you leave town, you'll have the options to edit your character and your skill set. And make sure you do that because I don't think there's a way to do it after this initial phase. And since there's no mods for the console, I have to make sure that I'm happy with my character now and won't want to change her like 30 hours into the game. And although we're idolized in Good Springs, we are vilified by the Powder Gangers. So when we walk by them, we're going to make sure to wear one of the outfits that we took off of the bodies in the fight and sort of camouflage ourselves in their group. But first, we loot the skydiving school. Make sure to grab the key on the desk. Mmm, new outfit. It's nice, but not really stronger than our combat armor. And also, in order to get past these guys, let's go ahead and change into our Power Ganger outfit now, before they see us. Mm, I remember the prim roller coaster there in the distance.
Nothing here but radiation. I really hate how these things look when they're running at you. But apparently they've been distracted by something else and I'm not going to bother them. Here we go. That felt like a relatively short distance. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. What's going on in Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Shouldn't you be protecting the town or something? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Why can't you protect them? We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. All right, I think this is a good place to end for now. We'll be exploring Prim in our next episode. Thanks again for joining me for another episode of Fallout New Vegas. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Check out the other episodes on this playlist. And until the next one, friends, stay safe and happy wanderings.